Again, just a disclaimer, this is off the ladder because I'm actually trying to take the ladder serious this season. So I wanted to try and put together a Storm the Festival deck just because we've got a lot of really good utility creatures now and we haven't seen one in a while. So with that, welcome to the channel that resolves on Country Pride today, Golgari Storm. Let's take a look. All right, guys, just real quick, let's hop into this. So this deck list description isn't 10 minutes long. We have some disruption of the board state and hands and board wipes. So we've got Dreadfuge in here at two, so we can get into our opponent's hand. And then if you cast it for one, target player reveals their hand. You choose an online card from it with mana value two or less. And that player discards that card. If you cast it for the cleave cost, then you just get to uh, pick a card and have them discard it. We have Infernal Grasp at two of just to help us quickly remove a target creature from the board. We have four Terra Sunders, which helps us get rid of artifacts and enchantments unless we cast it with its kicker cost, and then we could remove any non-land permanent. Then we have a Board Sweeper and Meat Hook Massacre. Now, this entire package is actually set up so Storm the Festival hits everything. So our creatures on this package are three Tenacious Underdogs, three Gala Greeters, three Graveyard Trespassers, four Topiary Stompers to help us ramp up into that possible 10 cast for the flashback cost of Storm the Festival. Two Shieldreds for a little bit of gain and drain and death touch. We have Defiler of Vigor, which is a new one as well, that not a lot of people are playing with unless you're just playing mono green, but in this Storm deck, it works really well. It's three colorless, two green, trample, six, six, and there's additional co uh, cost to cast a green permanent spell after this is on the board. You may pay two life, and those spells cost one green less to cast. So kind of like the Phyrexian mana, exactly like that. This effect reduces only the amount of green mana you pay. And whenever you cast a green permanent spell, put a plus one, plus one counter on each creature you control. So this can help us ramp up our creatures really well. We also have one Cura in here. It's five, four, four, flyer, death touch. And then when it dies, we can search our library for up to three land cards, put them into our hand, or we can create an XX spirit creature token where X is the number of lands we control. We have Springleaf Avenger in here because I love this card. We can ninja to it in for four if a creature of ours goes in for an attack unblocked. Or we can cast it for five. It's six, five. And then whenever it deals damage to a player, return target permanent card from your graveyard to your hand. And then we've got Workshop Shop War Chief in here, which we can cast for five. It's five, three. It's got trample. And then when it enters the battlefield, you gain three life. And then when it dies, you create a four, four rhino token. Or you can blitz it for six and do the same thing. We also have Rin and Seven in here at the plus one. Reveal the top four cards of your library. Put all lands that way into your hand. And then everything else into your graveyard is zero cost. Put any number of lands from your hand into the battlefield, negative three. We make a tree folk where the power and toughness is equal to the lands we control. And then negative eight, return all permanent cards from your graveyard to your hand. And you get an emblem with you have no maximum hand size. So just a little disruptor for our opponent to focus on away from us. And then, of course, Unnatural Growth. It's five at the beginning of each combat. Double the power and toughness of each creature you control until the end of the turn. So it's just a surprise in there if we can hit it off of Storm the Festival. Now, there are some things that you could do in here with, like, fight rigging and stuff like that. But this is the package that I landed on. And, again, off the ladder, it worked fine. You guys can take it out, especially if you like to Storm the Festival decks. Give it a spin. There's a ton of creatures that you could synergize this with. You could even do a fight rigging deck. You could put Titans in here. You could put Tox Rolls. You could find a way to use uh, Graveyard Shift to get them back from the graveyard if you wanted. Or even Gix, because Gix would get hit by Storm the Festival as well. But uh, that's where we're at. This is where I landed with it, and this is Golgari Storm. Our land package is six Swamps, two Tatak, uh, Takanuma's Abandoned Mire, so we can mill three cards and then bring a creature card back from the graveyard if we need to. Or a planeswalker. We have two besieges in here. We can destroy an artifact or an enchantment or non basic land with it. Our opponent gets to search up a basic land. And then we've got eight forest, four death cap glades, and four Zyator's proving ground. Again, it's given us that black green mana, but if we want to late game, we can cycle it to draw cards. And there it is, guys. Go Gary Storm. Hope you guys enjoy the gameplay. Again, if you would, please hit that thumbs up. 
And until the end of the video on the outro, I'll see you then. Stay safe, be happy and healthy. Happy Friday. Peace. We'll see you guys. So we're playing off the ladder. See if we get mono red or mono black. Because that seems to be the thing right now. <laughs> All right, we'll keep. We shall see. You're not even on the ladder, man. You're not on the ladder. What kind of garbage is this? I'm just, I'm gonna play it. I'm gonna play it regardless. Oh yeah, shit. We need four for that. Got you. Draw a land so I can put graveyard in here, please. That is not land. That is. Well, you got a whole handful of crap to pick from. Flip it and do it. Mm -hmm. I'd take shoulder. You're gonna take Terra Sunder. Okay. Thanks for the land. So weird. have a kill spell for it so infernal grasp sacrifice a creature this fight finished before it will probably be the one that can't block Mono black on the non rank ladder, man. I can't even. What was the position? Why, why? What's. There's nothing in it. I mean, you gotta. You gotta. You gotta live your life, but. Not a whole lot in it. I'm keeping it, man. I'm keeping this in there. Because we just outvalued Mono Black off the ladder. Take it on the ladder. You don't have anything really to gain or lose. Once you get a rank, you can't get knocked out of it. This month's Patreon rewards feature some of the most impactful lotuses in Magic's history. Check out all the details and sign up at patreon.com slash it resolves. All right, opponent goes first. Hopefully we're not playing Mono Black or Mono Red off the ladder it makes no sense to me go get some value out of it and take it on the ladder i'm over here testing making videos i'm gonna go celestia and chance uh, okay okay bam okay
They're just gonna have counter spells and stuff. Block it, please. Yeah, I didn't think so. Lord. Sure. Sure. I mean, at least it's a little bit different than what we're usually used to seeing. So, there's that. We just gotta wait for them. Springleaf Avengers amazing. I love the card. Sure. They gotta have something. Bounce it. Something. Okay. That thing said, I'm going to turn it back today just because of this. But I'm going to hit Lear first. Another bounce. Y'all got so many of those. Y'all got so many of them. Sure. Yeah, flock it up, indestructible. I get it. Still got trample. GG's. All right, GG's. Man, we're not even getting Storm the Festival off. What is going on? <laughs> GG's. All right, opponent goes first. Um, yeah, we'll keep. All right, give us a green land somewhere, please. There's green land. Oh, they got Simic. Counter spells. Nope. Them's not counter spells. Some like crazy stuff.
All right. Then we're set up to storm the festival on the next turn. I don't know what they're running. Titan. It's a pretty good one. Titan is a good one. Heck yeah, shield counter. I would. Sure. Is this duplemency? We're gonna have a way to cut it all down. That'd be amazing. Um Okay. Good job. Let's do it, bro. So you got another Titan. Got memory deluge. Man, please let us get in there and get this damage through fast. Give me another land off the top too, please. That'd be great. Awesome. That's nice. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Decisions. Come on, Storm the Festival. Come on. Quit doing me dirty. Let's do this. Do me good. Oh god, don't have a counter. Wasn't planning on that. <laughs> that. Really? Now, of all times? Sounds good. Heck yeah. So they got enough to draw. Well, they don't even draw. They look at the top seven cards of their library. So memory damage is just, just kind of crap. <clears throat> but they are finding cards, man. That's disturbing. All right, I think we got around them enough now because depending on what they got to block up. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. We're in a good spot. We're still in a good spot. I mean, we got six in the graveyard right there that we can just channel out and boom, 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 boom. 
That's fine. Create your 4 4. Put your chilled counter on. Oh, you gain life. Jackass. Um, if we do this, what does that leave us left? Enough. So let's see if they counter this. So does it come down to the one card in here? Oh, it comes down to the memory deluges and two mana. I think that's a good game. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's a good game. Yeah. GG's. GG's, my man. GG's. All right, guys. There was a gameplay. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. So, yeah, like I said, it's a utility package. It's Golgari Storm. You could put any type of creatures in here you wanted. You can mix it up. You could even turn it into a reanimator package with Toxerol, Titan, uh, Gix. would get hit by Storm like we explained in the deck list before. We could use Graveyard Shift if you wanted to. You could probably even splash blue in here, start using uh, Tainted Indulgence and stuff like that if you wanted to. There are about a million ways you could go with this. You could also use March of Sorrows if you wanted to as a possible removal tool. tool. Uh, Dreadfuge is an absolutely a must. But uh, yeah, million and one ideas. Storm the Festival deck, we haven't done in a while. Plus, I also wanted to use uh, Defiler of Vigor and Shieldra just because they're the newest creatures uh, that we've got that work really well within this package. And uh, Springleaf Avenger. Anytime I get a reason to play Springleaf Avenger, I will. So with that, guys, I hope you guys have a great weekend. Again, thank you for supporting the channel. I hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay. And if you stayed this long, please hit that thumbs up. We truly appreciate the support. As always, stay safe, be happy and healthy. Peace. Country fried out. <laughs> we'll see you guys.